I think it is fair to suggest that for pretty much all people of capable working age, it is the eyes that are being used for the most part of the day. In fact, you're using them right now, even if this may only be what you might call your recreational time, or time off from work. But I could also suggest that the body's arms are in overload mode for most of the day too. But today we look into the old school arm workout and how it can benefit you guys. Most people having taken up desk bound jobs, even their legs are getting a break. But not their arms. My arms, used to a lot more strenuous exertions, is in exercise mode as it types up this article for you. As light as such efforts may seem to be, the lifting of a cup of green tea is still a physical exertion. And if you count up the number of exertions that the arms and hands are required to make during a single day, you'll get the weight of the picture as it were. And so it goes to that many people who haven't exercised a day in their lives, as you and I are about to do, wonder always why they are so tired. So as to help you get through your old school arm workout as correctly as possible, let me give you a brief profile of the arm. I'll try and give some workout focus to the length and breadth of that arm of yours. And while we're at it, brief demos can be given. You might want to try these out in your own comfort zone and you'll probably find that it's going to be pretty easy for you to do. That could be anywhere but the city limits gym. A brief profile of the arm. Very briefly then, the arm begins at the shoulder. It can be divided into two halves, or perhaps even three parts at uneven lengths. The first part stretches from the shoulder to the elbow. Around here, special focus will be placed on strengthening the biceps, as well as increasing its size. From the elbow down to the wrist area is where the forceps lie. A proper but popular old school arm workout exercise used is that of curling the dummy handheld weight. Workout emphasis from shoulders to hands, wrists curl sturdily, but gently and carefully inwards. And as it does so, the forceps are lifted, with the stationary weight still gripped firmly in both hands, all the way up to the shoulders. Rep counts will always vary, depending on the weight of the handheld apparatus as well as the fitness level of the trainer. Turning the wrists clockwise and anti-clockwise may not need any weights. But then again. Shoulder workout, why not? Try and think of the type of sportsmen and women who would enjoy added value from this wrist turning exercise. Boxers. Tennis and squash players. The quarterback or line back in an NFL game of football. Definitely the Olympic fencer. And even you if you're working with handheld tools or just working in the garden over weekends. Let's talk a bit about a classic old school arm workout for the shoulders before moving on to the biceps and forceps again. Biceps workout, now guys, in case you have forgotten, this really is a classic for the ages. No new modern city gym for you here, nope, you don't need that. Heck, you don't even need your free weights. This classic exercise really gives the shoulders a good working out. And, for that matter, the biceps too. And it goes even further. It will be exerting pressure on the wrists and hands as well. But as simple as this old exercise may be, you do need to be careful how you execute it. It's still possible that you could injure yourself. And just what is this classic old school exercise? Well, it's the push-up of course. You'll find that if you're doing this old exercise for the very first time, and still carrying a lot of excess fatty tissue weight around the abdominal area, it's going to be a tough one. But do it often enough, and you'll soon notice a substantial difference. To do the push-up properly, place the entire weight of your body on your hand's fingers forceps workout and then slowly lower your weight down to the ground after that lift your weight slowly up again and to give yourself added value you'll need to repeat this motion several times over it might only be helpful to start off with 10 reps but make sure that by week two you're aiming for 20 and so on until eventually you reach 100 reps sounds impossible now but give it time it's not impossible Strengthening the hands, the forceps are being given a good working out. And you're also strengthening the tissues around the elbows. And of course, the hands are being given its workout too. 
here's another old school workout good for all areas the shoulders the biceps the forceps and the hands and you might want to get yourself a pair of good leather gloves for this classic exercise buy you a punching bag if you can try out old school boxing exercises hang it up from the ceiling and there you have it a classic old school arm workout if ever there was one here there are no reps this will be a timed exercise i'd recommend starting off with just five minutes at a time because let me just tell you if you're still loaded with blubber you'll surprise yourself at how tough this exercise really is not that anyone would want to do this but what a great way to take out all your anger and frustration instead of punching someone else you're giving that old bag all your life's worth gosh just when i was starting to have real fun with you guys it's time to call it a day but don't forget to check out my website tacticalelitefitness.com for more info and advice on how to build muscle through workout plans and diet